How's it going guys? Been a couple weeks since I did a video, so I figured I'd just check in. Show you what's been going on, and uh, I've been kind of lazy, haven't been videoing. I've been taking a ton of pictures though that I'll post up there. Um, car looks a little different now, uh, and uh, here, here's what it looks like now. Yeah, holy crap. Whole side of it's gone, whole back of it's gone. Uh, <laughs> rear floor pan's gone. There's the frame, whole rocker's gone. Yep. If uh, you watch the other video or my pictures, they just put plate steel in there. Which kind of sucks. And there's the front mount. I mean, they cut around it. It was a total hack job. But you would never know by the way they finished it. Look at that, you can't see me because it's dark. So, cut it all out. Uh, they probably used plate steel because at the time they didn't have floor pans. Well, guess what? I got floor pans. EMS came through again. I told you in the other video that's where I was going to buy all my stuff from after doing the review. So here's kind of the driver's side laid out. Rear panel. I'm going to turn you here. That's the rear floor pan, front floor pan. Rocker sitting next to it. And then this is the front door brace that goes in and holds the door pillar, which is kind of nice. Nice stuff, all 18 in, in, 18 gauge. I keep saying 18 inch, I don't know why. Uh, 18 gauge steel, um, has the wells in it, has the, the bump ups for the seat. Goes right to the, uh, the swell on the back. It has part of the, the transmission tunnel, which is nice, the drive shaft tunnel. Here is a sticker for you in case you're interested. Again, just like the other ones. And uh, there you go, you know, EMS, you know, I couldn't say enough about them on the last video. I can't say enough about them this time either. Deliver the stuff nice, quick, easy, uh, great stuff. What else do I got for you that you guys haven't seen yet? Uh, I mentioned it in one of my other videos that I was straight axling it. Well, I bought a straight axle. Uh, I think I got it out of uh, Wisconsin or Iowa. Here it is. It is a 30, I think it ends in 52, something like 37 to 52, I believe. Um, straight axle out of a 3500 GMC pickup truck. There's a factory GMC number, GM number. Um, so that's what's gonna be going into the front of this thing. It's gonna be pretty badass, I think. Um, you know, it's uh, going to be a lot more work. Not the straight axle, but the, now that i got to do floors both sides. Full floors. Full rockers, full doors. But, like I said in my first video, I'm going to do it right. Uh, it's going to be called Project Overtime, I think. Because I'm going to have to work so much overtime just to pay for it. Um, but it'll be worth it. It'll uh, it'll get done. Uh, I've jumped on a bunch of more. bunch of more. Yeah, there's some English for you. Jumped on some more forms. Um... Related to some 50s gasser stuff and, you know, straight axle stuff. Got a lot of support. A lot of guys are saying cool pictures, uh, cool project. And I don't know what motor I'm going to use now because I've had a lot of conversations. I was going to go small block Chevy. I think I want to go something a little bit more area era correct. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But quick little video. I'll try to keep you guys up to date on what's going on, what I'm doing, how things are coming together. Um... As you can see, I just started fitting that uh, back panel. Got a lot of fitting to do. I'm going to fit both panels, both rockers, put the door on, and make sure it all fits good. Some people might be asking, why in the hell did you cut the whole side of the car out? Well, that wasn't my plan. Let's put it there. I just noticed something I didn't see before either. Look at that. Big old rot in the frame. Every time I look at this thing, I see more. Um plan was just to do quarters in a rocker. Took the rocker out and noticed it was plate steel. Took all that out. Um, I'm going to get this side done. There hasn't been a lot of springing yet with the body because of how thick it is. I do have one by which I will start bracing both sides up before I cut that floor panel out right there. And then I'll get the front panel, I'll get the floor panels, panels, floor pans uh, fitted and uh, tacked in lightly. I'll put the door, I'll put the rocker in, get it tacked lightly, and then I will reset the door in the into the uh, door opening, 
rehang it. Uh, and I'm doing that because once I started doing all this, I noticed that this, and you can still see the braise on there, this whole corner had been repaired. And if you remember back to one of my very first videos, this whole area had about an inch of uh, Bondo in it. And I think that's because when they did this, they didn't pull the door pillar back out or this door post, it sucked in. They didn't pull it out correctly to match up with the lower door. So I'm gonna put the four pins in, inner and outer rocker, and then the door and make that uh, dimension correct for that rear quarter to match up with the door. Because the door has three pickup points. It has the latch and the top and bottom hinge. And with three pickup points, it's pretty much stationary. And if my gaps are good up here, up here are good, the bottom should be good too. And I can pull that door pillar out to match the bottom of the door. Then I know it'll all be correct um, with all new steel. Um, so that's why this looks like Swiss cheese right now. Um, it will get braced up. Uh, I'll probably put the braces in before I cut this front panel out because I'm not too sure about that front mount right there and what's going to happen. Luckily, this mount back here, it's rotted and toasted, but it's still holding pretty good. So before I cut that out and redo it, I will put this floor pan in and this body mount right here so that we don't have any moving. It's just doing things methodically and meticulously, but... That's, you know, I can, I can see already, uh, I'm probably gonna get some flack for cutting it all out, but that's why I did it, and you, it just takes more time, and you gotta be kind of on your game and measure 500 times and weld once, because if you, you know, or weld sparingly with tacks and make sure everything fits up and all your gaps are good and you're good before you burn it all in good. So, like I said, so much for a quick video. video. We're going on seven minutes, but Keep checking me out guys, keep watching my videos, I'll keep posting them, I'll post it all when I got it all, you know, fit and, you know, one or two tacks in there so you can see what's going on and uh, follow along, subscribe, I got one subscriber, I'm hoping for some more and uh, it's just me in the garage, me pounding away on this cool little old street ride, banging steel, so thanks a lot and stay tuned.